Oh, welcome back, Scuff and Wessex Blades. Bit of a sort of no man's land in terms of what I'm doing this week. I've got things gluing and it's cold, so I'm actually gluing it at work. So I took me stuff to the, the workshop there and I got gluing because if we. two degrees damp, probably not be that great, is it? Uh, so what I thought I'd do is make a start on this one that I've actually got in my garage and it's a British Army 1950s, 1960s go lock below bolo thing and this was dropped off by a chap who picked up a Martindale's go lock two weekends ago um, the sheath needs um, looking at but what I thought I'd do tonight is take the handle off because it's, it's sort of held on with bent over a bit of this and a bit of that um, yeah hell of a temper on this that, that makes me smile that won't break that will last two centuries if you look after it 180 years quite happily see look at the work in that that's just that's just brilliant I like that. That's had a hell of a life. See that? Does it matter? No. Is that the performance? Not really. Prove what you can do? Hell yeah. Takes a beating. Keeps coming back for more. Like it. Boing. Springy thingy. Hey, he's put an edge on it, but we'll come to that at the end. There we go then. Let's um see what's underneath, see how big the holes are, see what stock I've got see how easy it is to drill because of course the blade's tempered perhaps the handle isn't even been hard, it should be nice and easy to, to drill you know these recons you never know till you get there, it's not like working in 01 and the old bar stock to start with, flat stock I just don't know how hard it is underneath so get my bands all up and running I'll see you in a minute Alright, got some vague specs on me. How easy is it to. Good brass. metallically blade metal cutting bandsaw sometimes 200 quids well spent not torquey but you just like and a boy metal blade now I'm down to the holes right funky drill time kids shouting in the streets grit lorry going by maybe Yeah, sort it in the garage door. Frost tonight, baby. Right, funky drill, take two. I've got a four in there at the moment. This is the uh, gift from the Sparky, the funky prepper knows. Is it Sparky Steve? I think it's Sparky Steve. Drop that on there. This there. Just see how we get on with this. Cobalt drill. Like it. So it's just opened it out. So I'll just keep pumping along here nice and gentle. I haven't gone straight to the five, that's what I need to do. Just working on it with a four. Back later when the other two are done. Yeah, it's just 
one little thing I've noticed. If I allow the drill just to sit on the edge of the hole, and then I allow the drill loop to pull around it, it won't disappear down the hole quite so readily. And it stays there. So we're all going to put it down the hole first and then drill. I let the drill go on the hole to sort of block it up. And then put the lube on. About halfway through. Cobalt bits will do it. High speed still won't. So, on the hole, let it cool. And it's definitely softer there. So they're now opened out to five mil and my imperial was about a four point eight. I don't know whether that's three eighths or five sixteenths or seventeen sixty fourths or whatever you do it. There, opened up to five. Now let them from begin. So I found two pieces of Iroko, which are sort of scrap bin stuff I get. Plenty oversized. I've took the burr off of a 10. There's a slightly counterboard, like that. As of all these um, knives I find, there's a huge burr at the end to stop the I don't know what it is, the way it's hammered or forged or blasted or whatever. So I'm going to flatten that out along the end. There's a big lip on the end of it. Clean that right up. And I'll do this tomorrow at work in my lunch hour. And that's dimple the fibre liners and glue them to the wood. If I do it at lunchtime, it should be pretty damn good before I go home. And it's warmer at work. That's the thing. So, happy lunch. Ten minutes ago, this is a glue. Don't stick it in. A Tip for the day: um, when you wrap these things up and you stick it in a vice, or you stick it in a bench vice, or you stick it in with clamps, so that you get the even pressure, uh, you, you could wrap it round with tissue, or you can wrap it in masking tape, or you can wrap it in greaseproof paper. Because the one I'm using is Gorilla Glue which is this polyurethane strong wood glue, really powerful. It bonds everything, everything, but it's an expansive type glue. I think it's three or four times its volume, so it oozes out a bit like feb foam filler. So that means it gets into all the gaps, which is good, but it means it oozes out and it's still quite liquid as it does it and it might drip. So if you've got it in a bench voice, it would get on the gear and as 
you know, two metal rods and the gear are just going through. So what do you wrap it up in to stop it from oozing all over the place or gluing itself in the vise? Well, just so happens, when these break, in the, in the last little corner, A4 wallety thingies. Drop it in, fold it up, the glue doesn't even stick to it. I was looking at it that they're a penny a piece. You might get a hundred for a pound, okay? And what I was considering was I wrap it up in and I sand it off as it's all glued to hell as a big thing. So it's easier than grease proof. Drop it in the bag, drop it in the bag, fold it up, put it in a vice, bench vice. So I don't get glue all over the place, it's, it's inside here. But when I dropped it out, put my hand in, it just just pops clean off. So the glue doesn't stick to this plasticky, shiny stuff. Pass of any out. If you've got a few of them lying around, or it's easier to get hold of a grease proof paper. And even then it's not a sealed bag, is it? You know, grease proof paper to the end still come out. So then you're bundling it up and taping it up. Anyway, if it helps anybody out, old A4 wallety thingy. So get them glued tomorrow. Poot along in my little half an hour, hour a day gradual advancement of Wessex blades. But yeah, I've been um, ferro rodding this week. Just a few. Just a few. Let's go from Wessex blades out. I mentioned Google, Google once. Bugger. Bugger. Slipped out. There we go. See you next one. Oh yes, hat update. I've got a new one. <coughs> it was free. Makes the customers laugh. Laugh. <laughs>